Hey guys, it's Talia here. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't said that in the longest time. I think this is the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube. I promise you now, I am back for good. I got myself a new camera, which cost a lot of money. So trust me when I say I will be using it. I've got some great videos planned for the next couple of months. Obviously it's Christmas now. So I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's obviously just such a big thing. So I'm gonna see how the next couple of weeks go and if I do enjoy it, then I will maybe do Vlogmas. Today, I'm just gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me. I asked you guys to ask me any questions you wanna know about over on Instagram. So I've got a few to answer, just sort of like where I've been the past six months, what I've been up to, what's new, whilst I do like my everyday makeup routine. First thing I need to do is go and do my lashes and they're a bit of an effort and I can't really talk and do my lashes at the same time. So I'm gonna go do my lashes, come back and then we'll get started. Okay, my lashes are done. I just use the Tati Lashes individuals. It actually make me feel like I don't even need to wear makeup. Starting with my skincare, yes guys, I do actually have a good skincare routine now. I just use the Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow pH Pore Type Toner. I don't really know what toner does, to be honest, but I see everyone else use it, so I just shove it on my face. And I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is sort of like my go-to everyday makeup routine at the moment. And when I say everyday makeup routine, I don't mean that I wear this makeup every day days where I do wear makeup where I haven't like got a lot on this is what I'll do before we get on to the makeup I'm gonna answer some questions oh my goodness there's so many we'll start with the question of am I lashing anymore now I don't even know if I ever told YouTube that I was lashing I'm just using my refi primer by the way but I did start up a lash business called TLC treatments and I started that up last year because basically I was at a point where social media was a little bit why is the lighting so bad? Sorry that the lighting keeps changing, that's really annoying. Social media was being a little bit slow. There wasn't many events going on. I wasn't with Harry at this point. So I was just very, very bored. Like I'd literally just sit in my room all day, not really doing anything. And I just sort of felt like I had no purpose. Just going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. And it's in the shade, shade four medium. This stuff is my absolute fave. It's a very good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I just rub that in with my fingers. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I just don't really have a lot going on. And my friend Lottie does lashes. Her business just seemed to be doing really, really well. She told me how easy it was for her to sort of get started with it. Starting lashing, obviously you don't have to go to like uni or anything like that. It's literally just like a one day course. When she told me that, I was like, right, I might start lashing. It just sort of like gave me something to do the day. And I was very lucky that because obviously I have such a big following already, it was really easy for me to get clients. Like I know a lot of people when starting up a business like that, it's hard to get clients, but I think because I could reach like a much lar larger audience, it was just quite easy for me. Yeah, so I started lashing. I did I did love it at first. Like I did really, really enjoy it. Then as we came out of the winter months and went into the summer months, I just became more and more busy. Like I hit a million followers, which was the first thing. And I feel like once I hit a million followers on TikTok, everything else just sort of like blew up with it. Like all of a sudden I had just so much going on. And then obviously I was going on holiday quite a lot. There was just a lot happening. Obviously my lashing did take sort of like a back seat and then I just haven't really got back into it ever since. Like don't get me wrong, if I've got friends or like old clients that need their lashes done, I would of course say, look, come over, I can do it. I've still got my room downstairs. In terms of like, am I still lashing? I'm gonna go with no, because I'm not. I'm just taking my NARS pot concealer in the shade medium 1.5 Mac. I'm just going to use this on like little blemishes. I'm just using the Hourglass, I don't even know what this is, Hourglass Radiant Concealer, that's just definitely not what it's called. It's in the shade Cedar. I feel like the next thing I want to talk about is my anxiety because I've been so like vocal about it on Instagram the last couple months and I just feel like it's important to properly talk about it and you guys like know where I'm at. Because anxiety wise, the last like six months of my life has been probably the hardest six months I've ever had. So I do think it's important to address it. Just taking my Rare Beauty contour stick and this is in the shade Happy Soul. This is my absolute favorite thing in the whole entire world. If you're gonna buy anything from this video, buy this. So yeah, my anxiety took a little bit of a turn for the worst. Sort of in the middle of this year, me and Harry went away and I got food poisoning. And obviously I have really bad health anxiety. So me getting sick in another country it was just honestly like the worst thing that could have happened like if it happened to anyone else it would just be like oh you got sick move on it's not a big deal but for me it was literally awful and then I'm not sure if you guys are some of you might be aware that I do have a heart condition 
and that is caused by anxiety, like it's triggered by my anxiety and my stress. So when I got sick, obviously I was so, so anxious and it just caused like a chain reaction. And then my heart decided to play out whilst we were out in Spain too. And I ended up in these dodgy Spanish hospitals at like four in the morning with a pulse of like 160 beats per minute. It was a really scary time. It really was just sort of like a nervous wreck the whole time. And it was awful. Like It was honestly absolutely awful. And I knew that in a couple of weeks time, we was going away with my family to Tenerife. And now I associate holidays with badness because of what happened when I was in Spain. When we went to Tenerife, I was okay, but like I every single night I had an episode because the episode that I had happened at night time it was like in my head every single night something bad was going to happen so anxiety is very annoying and it doesn't allow me to eat because my heart goes so fast it causes like butterflies in my stomach and then it just makes this horrible nauseous feeling and I literally cannot eat so a little bit of a trigger warning I did end up losing a lot of weight like a lot of I went down like 6 kg in literally the space of like a month not because I wanted to it was just obviously what happened which was really really shitty I did still enjoy the holiday it was just I couldn't eat when it came to night time and it was like a little bit of an issue but we still had like a great time and then I was supposed to be going to Marbella with the girls but I just decided that it was best if I didn't go because I was just an absolute mess oh I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury beauty light wand in the shade Pinkgasm, and I basically just put it on the back of my hand. It's exploding everywhere. Charlotte Tilbury, if you're watching this, can you make these easier to use, please? I did, after that, manage to go to Europe with Harry. We went to Amsterdam and we went back to Paris, and that was so much fun. We didn't fly because I didn't think I was quite ready for that yet, but we did take the Euro Tunnel, and my anxiety very much stems from like being in contract, like small places like I have really bad claustrophobia but I didn't quite realize how bad it was like, I can't take lifts anymore the tube scares the living daylights out of me if you don't know what the Euro tunnel is you basically drive into a train in your car and then you're stuck in your car and it takes you to France and it's like a half an hour train it was a really big step like being able to stay in my car for like that amount of time and not get panicky and I actually think I did a really good job of that since then touch words I haven't really had any episodes at home I did have one episode when we were in Paris but like, I managed to deal with it so my anxiety has been getting better it's just sort of like trying to manage it now and deal with it so that it isn't such a big thing because it, it has been taking over my life. I'm not going to sit here and like ignore that. It has been and it's been pretty crap but I am getting there. I'm just taking the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Stronghold Gel. When I'm doing like an everyday makeup look I don't like to fill in my brows just because I don't know it's really really long. So I literally just use this and like run over my brows. I also saw like so many like comments obviously when I lost all the weight from anxiety I had so many messages so many DMs. Talia weight loss was trending on TikTok which is obviously not what you want to see when you're going through such a hard time. And I'd always be like, oh guys, like it's because of my anxiety. And then people were like, you don't have anxiety, you're able to go to all these events, like you're able to talk in front of a camera, blah, 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 blah. That's not what my anxiety is. I don't have social anxiety. Like put me in a room full of 100 people, tell me to do a speech, I'll be absolutely fine. The anxiety I have is like, it's so hard to explain, but it's like it comes from within because it's a health anxiety thing. It causes like physical symptoms. And that's why I get anxious because I'm so scared that I'm going to die. That's like the best way to put it. So there might have been times where I wasn't able to go to events and stuff because I was so anxious. Not because of I was anxious of seeing people, but because I was anxious that I was going to get sick and that I was going to have like an anxiety attack and that something bad was going to happen. The next question I got was, are you engaged? No, I'm not. This is a promise ring. Harry got me a promise ring for my birthday. I had the best birthday, by the way. I haven't done a birthday haul just because I feel like it's too far gone now. Do you know what I mean? Like my birthday was literally two months ago, but I am aware that I've done one every single year since I was like 12, 13. So if you do want a birthday haul, let me know. Obviously guys, we have spoke about getting engaged and getting married and everything, but we are still so young. Like Harry has actually just turned 20. I'm only 21. Don't get me wrong, if he asked me to be his wife, like, I would say yes. I think logically, it's just not the smartest move right now. I've also had a lot of questions about my cheerleading. Obviously, I'm on Vault now. The last video I posted was me on Ruby, which was my dream team. I've always been so, like, open and honest about my cheer career. So, it's only fair that I sort of tell you guys what happened. I made it on Ruby last year. And it was just the best thing ever. I was so, so happy. And then this year, tryouts came around. And I, you guys probably don't know this either, but I broke my left foot 
about six weeks before tryouts no about four weeks before tryouts so I couldn't actually like do tryouts properly and then the day that my left foot healed I broke my right foot it was really really bad timing obviously I was in a boot for like the whole of summer which was not fun my cheer career took like a big hit like it was a big thing oh by the way I've just used the Patrick Tar. she's blushing blush now I'm just going to powder with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder the thing was right when I made it onto Ruby they had enough like bases they didn't need me as a base so I was put on the team as a tumbler because I had my double but well, I got my one to full and then when tryouts came around lots of the people that have been on Ruby for a long time like the older ones that were all good bases they all left and moved on so then they were left with not enough bases because I'd never based in my life really I just wasn't at the level that they needed for a level six team and there's a new team this year called Vault which is the team I'm on and because it was a brand new team they didn't have like a solid foundation for that team so like they needed people that had been at Unity for a while been to Wales before sort of knew what they were doing go and like help this team out and they just thought that Vault would be the best place for me to go and learn my basing to like build me up so that maybe one day I can get back on Ruby if that's what I wanted to do I've also seen loads of questions saying are you going to be on Ruby next year are you going to stay on Vault it's not up to me guys it is obviously up to the coaches it's whatever they think is best right now I'm absolutely loving Vault. I did actually just get announced as captain, which is really, really cool. So exciting to tell you guys. I'm literally like captain of Unity Worlds team. Kind of crazy. Really proud of myself. Me and Ollie will be leading the team to Worlds this year, which is so, so, so exciting. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm so happy. I hated Ruby. I wanted to be on Vault. Like, Ruby was my whole entire life. Like, when I first found out I was being put on vault, I literally cried for days. Like, for days and days and days. I didn't even know if I was going to carry on cheer. And I just thought, I don't know what I'd do without cheer. So I thought, I can't. I literally can't not do it. So I decided to take Vault. I'm so glad I did because my team, we're literally all like this. I love everyone on the team. It's such a lovely team. I do obviously still see Ruby and my heart aches a little bit and it's like, oh, I wish I was there. But then I think everything happens for a reason and I'm so happy where I am. And I do think we've got such a good chance this year. Like the team is so, so strong. And I'm just so happy that now that I've been announced as a captain, I can help us get to where we need to be. To finish, guys, I'm just going to use the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade 000 Universal Clear. Also, this has my name on. Can you see? Oh, yeah, guys, I turned 21. Crazy. I literally had a huge, huge party with all my family and friends, and it was the best birthday I've ever had. Right, as you can see, my makeup is done, but I feel like I've got a few more questions that people wanted to know. Lots of people have asked about me and Harry. So we've been together for almost nine months. It's coming up to like a year, which is really, really cute. And I've honestly never been happier. Like I am so, so happy. Harry is my literal rock. And I don't actually know what I'd do without him. And people have also asked if we're planning on moving in together soon. We are, hopefully sometime next year, like towards the end of next year, we're looking to get our own place, which is really, really exciting. It's a big step because as you guys know, I'm such a home girl. Like the thought of leaving home does scare me but at the same time I think it'll be really really exciting how was cheer going have you made full recovery with your ankles as I said yes oh I don't even think I did say my ankles are finally back to normal now I do still get pain with the right one because the right one was like a bad break I'm doing it I'm tumbling again I'm basing now in the routine actually the whole routine I'm basing for the first time and we've got showcase on Saturday which is literally in two days so I'm a bit nervous, but I'm like genuinely just excited more than anything. When do you and Harry want kids? Not yet. <laughs> Someone's asked, does Harry live with me? He doesn't like officially live with me, but he pretty much does. What place did you come in Summit last year? I didn't do Summit last year. I've never done Summit. I came third at Worlds though. How did you deal with some of the recent hate you received off social media? I don't remember receiving hate. <laughs> I don't know if I'm missing something. Who have asked for my plans and goals for 2024? Obviously, it's to be able to afford to move out, which I do think I'm already there, which is really, really exciting to say, and I'm very happy about that. I do want to grow my social media more, but I do also want to look into, like, other paths. Not to do, necessarily, straight away, but, like, I do... Obviously, I know that I'm not going to be a TikToker for the rest of my life, and, hey, I'm starting YouTube again, so if this does well, and YouTube goes well, then I will stick with YouTube, and I'll absolutely love that. But if it gets to a place when me and Harry move out, and we need more of a stable income, I will definitely look at doing something. I do have some stuff in mind, but I don't want to say, just because it's one of the things that's like the real adult world. And I do think I have to keep some of my private life private. But I do have like plans for getting a real, real job. I hate saying that, but you guys know what I mean. Current series you're watching. Me and Harry just finished watching Gavin Stacey. I've watched it like a hundred times, but Harry had never watched it. 
and I just forgot how much I loved it. I think that is pretty much like the main questions that people wanted to know. If you guys do have any more questions or anything I've talked about in this video you want me to like talk about further then let me know and I'll do that. It has felt so good talking to you guys again like honestly I have missed you so much. I don't even know why I stopped. My anxiety did have a lot to do with it just because I wasn't in the right headspace to sort of be doing anything. Oh my god I've still got my clips in. I have missed being on YouTube so so much like this just feels right to be back like it just feels like the norm again. I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me on your YouTube screen again and if you've got any like suggestions for YouTube videos then comment them below or message me on Instagram because I only want to do content that you guys want to see. I don't just want to be doing stuff that no one is interested in. But yeah thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!